G'day, g'day, and what's going on? It is I, the one and only Shibi, and today we are back with another box. Yes, we have another unboxing to do today because I thought, why the heck not? The first video so far got 50 views, so we are, we are on a big thing here with the unboxing. So uh, today we are going to unbox a very cheap microphone boom and pop filter that I bought online, I think including shipping, it was like $34 Australian, so we are in Australia, was it, thir yeah, it was like $34 uh, with shipping, and it comes with a pop filter, as well as the stand, the microphone connection, um, so yeah, today we're going to open it, I have my Blue Yeti here, which I've been wanting to get a proper boom and stand for, for the moment I am using my headset microphone, which is pretty decent, but definitely want to get my Yeti hooked up to a stand. So the other thing is I wasn't 100% sure if this was going to support the Blue Yeti and if I was going to actually be able to make it work. There is a very good chance that this boom and pop filter could be sent right back to the way it came. So um, we're going to start the unboxing. Uh, it's quite a big box, which is... I don't know, a good sign. It's very light though, like it's it's very light. So uh got the old trusty knife, get over a flick. Let's get this bad boy open. Let's hear that nice cutting sound, shall we? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, listen to that cut. Oh yeah. Hmm. AMS ASMR. Cutting sounds. Interesting. Might be onto something here. Alright, so at first look, we have bubble wrap. Sure, it does the job. Much prefer more solid foam, but uh, I suppose for a boom arm it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so we continue. Let's open this right up. All right, so we have some just sort of thrown in bubble wrap. It's just sort of thrown in here. And there's more box than there is packaging. Wow, they've really gone over the top sending this tiny, tiny little box in this huge one. Like, holy smokes, you could have sent me ten of these in this box. Anyway, that's that's that first box open. Let's move all this out of the way. So, as you can see here... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> As you can see here, it is the Influenza Vlogging Essential Microphone Boomarn Kit with Pop Filter. And don't forget to hit that follow button. <laughs> oh gosh, this even this just even looks cheap. And again, it is so light. I don't know if I've never had a boom, so like, I don't know if they're supposed to feel this light. Like, it feels like there's nothing in here. So we've got some scissor suspension, which everybody loves a bit of scissoring. We've got the pop filter, and we've got a clamp desk mount. And we have this awesome looking guy on the front. Uh, awesome. So <laughs> the influencer vlogging essential boom arm. Let's have a look what we've got on the back here. What have we got on the back? We've got a few things here. Again, it just shows like a pop filter, the suspension boom, old mate and his follow. A bit of a stream setup that looks like it's set up, but it has no microphone. So they've they've got it in a display picture here, but um, I don't know if you can see that. I will get a better camera, I promise. Um, yeah, so there's no microphone on it. I'm a little worried. It says nothing about being able to attach anything to it. This picture here just sort of sort of shows the microphone. Uh, being held by it, whereas I know like studio mics like the Yetis and stuff actually need to be physically screwed in. So we're not after a good start. But as I said, it was $34. I wanted to take, with shipping, I wanted to take <laughs> a chance on it and a chance we have taken. And that's where we're at. So if all else fails, I have the receipt and I will just send it straight back where it came from and I will buy an $80 boom because that was sort of the next the next price uh, range on the booms I was looking at. Let's uh, cut these open. Bit of tape. 
Alright, so here we go for the first time opening. Let's turn it towards you guys so you can actually see. And uh, ready? Here we go. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got some paper. Looking, looking good. Looking good. Alright, so we have microphone boom on kit. Oh wow, it's a single, it's a single sheet that's double sided. That does not fill me with much joy if that's the only sort of documentation you're getting. And it's literally just for mounting the desk clamp. Right. <laughs> I still, I'm, this is, yeah, okay. Okay, so here we have the pop filter. Okay, it's just a bit of pantyhose, which I assume that's what all pop filters are. Uh, I'm not sure. As I said, I've never used one, so I've never seen one. This is the first time experiencing, so I thought I'd <laughs> just buy a cheap one. So just feels like pantyhose in a, um, yeah, it's plastic, plastic casing. Uh, this is a metal, yeah, metal flexi, which is pretty good. And then you've got just a basic basic thread and yeah clamping system here I suppose that's to hold it to the actual boom itself uh, it'd be interesting to see even if the boom doesn't work if this pop filter makes a difference on my blue yeti uh, that'd be definitely something I'd be ch testing to see what it does because I've never used one but I do see lots and lots of streamers and content creators using them so hey that might be something we do in another video, is test out the sound difference between no pop filter and a pop filter. Anyway, let's move on. Don't need to worry about the pop filter anymore. I'm just going to throw it on the desk. Oh, wow, this is really small. This is a very small boom arm. This is not what I expected. And that thread on that, okay. We're already at a point where I don't think... I honestly don't think my Yeti is going to attach to this. This is the microphone holder. Um, it has a thread attachment. It's plastic. This is plastic. I would expect that to be metal. All this is plastic. Uh, yeah, and it it doesn't have any. It doesn't look to have any other attachments for different different microphones. It just sort of wants to fit the one size microphone uh, might be able to I don't know rig up something to make it work but so far it's not looking like this is going to work with my Yeti with this attachment and nothing else and it's all plastic so not feeling too good about the quality again we'll just we'll just get the desk clamp out uh, let's open this up uh, okay, so desk clamp is metal. Uh, yep, it's metal. Uh, just a, si a simple, you know, wind and clamp system again. Uh, one side, so this is what's really interesting. One side has foam to protect your desk. The other side with the metal clamp piece, oops, sorry, here, there's no foam or anything to protect your desk. So... I think they're assuming, oh, because this is under your desk, it won't matter if you scratch it. Like, it'll attach like this, right? So the top pieces will, won't scratch the top of your desk, but this metal piece is definitely going to scratch the underneath my desk. So why wouldn't they think that would be useful? Like, I don't care if it's the underneath of my desk. I don't want to scratch it. I paid a lot of money for my desk. But, yeah, so this goes on like this. We'll uh, tighten it up quickly. Set it down there. Hang on, let me move this god off mighty freaking mouse pad out of the way. So as you can see, it's it's attached. Shake my desk. We'll leave that there, and we'll go back to the boom arm. Oh, there's a piece there. Wonder what that fell out of. All right, so I think that's everything out of the box. That's everything. All right, goodbye box. Ta-da. Now, let's have a look at this. So they've gone as far as to put a little, 
a little logo on the boom arm as well, because in case that it's in someone's frame shot, they can at least um, get some more advertising out there. So it does have a rod on the end here with a thread, which in most cases, this is what you would attach your Yeti or other studio mic that you're going to use uh, to the boom. But I'm not feeling very confident about this, and this all feels extremely cheap. Uh, this slides in here. Okay, so it is rotational. Um, hang on. Let's put it up a little bit. So it does, it does have the ability uh, to move around, which is nice. Of course, you wouldn't have it sitting where I've put it, but for now, for display reasons, so you guys can see, that's where it is. Um, but yeah, it does have the ability to turn and move, which, you know, not too bad so far. Seems pretty sturdy. We've got a, a screw here on the side right here that looks like if um, your microphone's a little heavy or you want it locked in place, you can just tighten this up and then it makes this... Yeah, okay, so that, that definitely stops that from moving. And um, this little screw that I found is actually to... You tighten it down here on the end and it stops it from rotating or like just locks it in place the same sort of thing that other screw did hmm other than that there's not much to it it looks cheap it feels cheap it was cheap like i think that is sort of the final outcome for this and that thread on that is way too big it is way too big And I don't believe, I did have adapters because I had little, um, I have little phone tripods as well that came with all sorts of little different adapters at one point of time. But, uh, so yeah, I have little phone tripods like this. Uh, these are awesome. You pick them up from like cheap stores. Uh, they do a really good job. But these do have their own adapters on them. Let's see if I can janky, because as far as I remember, I think this, yeah, so it's, that's what I thought. This thread fits on my Yeti, right? So the thread on the bottom of this tiny, tiny, miniature little tripod actually fits on the Yeti. So let's tighten this up, lock that in. And then we'll stand this cute little tripod down. <laughs> oh, look at that. That actually sort of looks cool. I don't know. I think I might like it better than the actual the Yeti stand. It's the same. It's like a little bit higher. It doesn't really make much difference. But the only problem is because of the weight of this Yeti, it's going to move around a lot. So I thought maybe the what I could have done is found something that I could adapt into this. Um to make it work with the Yeti, because I really would like to see how to go about that. I'm very interested, because this, this thread is way too big. Like, it is definitely not fitting. Um, and, yeah, the th thread holes, like, here you go. Here's the, here's the difference, right? That's the, that's the hole for, on the boom arm, and that's the sort of hole size for the Yeti, so yeah. One is completely thrashed out, she's had a hard life, lots of loving, and this one is new and fresh, ready to go. But yeah, I have this thought that I won't be able to find the other adapter plates for the Yeti quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look in my cupboard of amazingness with all my stuff that I use to fix computers, build computers, because that is my job. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't believe that the adapters are gonna be easily found as I think, at some point in time I realized that I just didn't need them and I've put them up, up and away which makes sense. If I'm not going to use them, why have them floating around? Uh, stickers on the floor from my daughter. 
just stuck to my foot. What do we got up here? Got all sorts of stuff. Got all sorts of stuff. Needs a good clean. Nathan, clean your shippy. Clean up your goddamn frickin' place, alright? I got a laptop half pulled apart on my workbench. Actually, half put back together I would be more, more of it. Yeah, and all the screws that I've got for computers and stuff are way too small. I don't believe today, ladies and gentlemen. What is that on the floor? Oh, it's a plastic bag. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to, uh, let's just... Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Look at this. Look at this. The legs fit through, and then if I turn this this way, I can get I can get that like little piece through here, and we'll shove it in. All right, we'll just just get it in there. Yeah. All right, we have a, a officially. <laughs> no, this is so jank. We have a. <laughs> Wait, can I unscrew the legs? Oh, I tell you what, if I could take the legs off this, but anyway, we have officially attached the Blue Yeti uh, Nano to, <laughs> to this boom arm. This, this is not, <laughs> I can't stop laughing. This is so jank. Anyway, we've officially attached the Blue Yeti Nano to this, uh, this boom arm. It's definitely, it holds a lot of weight, these these little microphones, they, they hold a lot of weight, so um, let's just turn the camera, uh, excuse, there's, uh, that's my new case for my system, by the way, um, if anybody would actually like to see me unbox that, I could do another unboxing, I'm loving these videos, oh god, uh, hello, because this is plastic, thread with a metal thread you got to be ever so careful i don't think this is going to hold this this yeti's way too heavy honestly this yeti is way too heavy this i don't think this boomer or oh, oh it's holding it it's holding it it's holding it it's up it's there okay it's holding it. I gotta work out how to take these legs off. <laughs> but um, yeah, okay, all right. Well, it's a janky way to adapt the Blue Yeti, um, but I think I can take the legs off. I might be able to pull pull that apart and take the legs off. But it is supporting it, um, rotationally perfect. Like again, this is not where it'll sit. It'll sit to the left of me, and it'll come across in front of me. Um, actually, you know what? Let's... Now that I know it supports the blue let... Oh, gosh. Oh, no, that feels so light and janky. Uh, let's... Let's attach it to my desk over here. We'll wind this video up soon. I've just had too much fun. 20-minute video on a freaking unboxing of a cheap... Cheapy, cheapy, cheapy... Uh, boom arm and pop filter okay we'll move it over we will uh, adjust this and this and we'll turn oh, okay now we got problems now go this way okay that's not bad it's like really in my face um, I think if I played with a little bit there you go actually that's not bad it's not bad at all for $34. I'm giving this one thumbs up because, I don't know, it's cheap. But I'm going to give it, uh, actually I'm going to give it two thumbs up for its cheapness, but only five out of ten gold stars um, because of, yeah, there's no adaptability. You know, a couple extra little thread arms or something just here that you could change to suit different microphones or adapters would be awesome. I honestly would then give it two stars, uh, two thumbs up. So good rating for cheap, nasty quality 
does its job though. But yeah, only 5 out of 10 gold stars on this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is... The adaptability is just not good enough. I think... Um, for a couple extra dollars, they could easily change this. Because you can unscrew this and take this thread out. Um, you could easily throw in a couple... Like, even one extra adapter that's just a bit smaller would make a big difference to people who are buying this, uh, especially when new to doing it. So, um, yeah. So, the pop filter, it attaches to the top metal arm, tighten the adjustment screw in the bracket to firm, bend pop filter into desired location. Must be between microphone and noise source. So, I'm not sure what it meant by, maybe it just means here, right? Do we just put it here? Is that what it's saying? Here and metal bracket, right? And then, uh, so, anyway, I'm pretty sure the Yetis, oh gosh, oh no, stop starting to, okay, we're starting to droop, we're starting to droop, it's, uh, definitely isn't holding the Yeti as well as I thought it would, um, but hey, $34, and pop filter, microphone. So, all in all, not bad, not bad at all. I'm going to play with it a little more, I sort of want to set it up, so, like at the moment it's, it's big, it's in front of me, it's taking up a lot of space, like... I feel like I'm trying to dive under it. Um, this is my secondary monitor. It's more in the way of that than my main monitor, so I'm not too worried. But, um, yeah, all in all, not a bad product for $30, $34 delivered. This is in Australian dollars. And, yeah, I'm uh, going to be excited to give it a go. Definitely probably going to work out a little bit way to fix this a bit better. And then... Um, yeah, maybe move the arm around on my desk a little bit and just sort of see where I put it and where I like it in the field. And then I want to do some testing with it. So, yeah, thanks for coming along for this amazing unboxing. This is maybe something new I'll do the channel. As I said, I do get a lot of stuff to unbox, including cases, uh, RGB fans, hubs, all sorts of different things. Uh, parts from clients' repairs could be fun to open. Um, yeah, or if you want to see me repair a computer or build a computer. That's something I can do. I am actually going to build my system into this new case at the back. I'll give you a shot. Oh, come here, camera. No, excuse me, Finn. Oh, my Finn has got himself wrapped around the camera. Finn, let go. You little bastard. Get out of here, Finn. What's he do What's happened here? Oh, my gosh. Excuse the... What is going on? All right. A bloody Finn. This little bastard had a hold of the camera and he was just tugging on so uh yeah that's my monstrosity excuse my streaming light that's gonna hurt your eyeballs or your eye holes oh it's gonna be very difficult because the the light is so bright hang on i'll turn it off that'll make sense so this is my monster case like i mean it is a monster that i have a full-size adult hand and this case is whopping so I'm going to, yeah, it's big enough that I've got like a full-size dragon statue in there sitting on a skull. So this is getting downgraded to a different case. Um, I'm also going to do some, a little bit more RGB and fan hub setup because this one isn't set up that well. And I want to change the radiator from front mount to top, uh, from top mount to front mount. So thank you watching my unboxing on the, what was it called again? The Influencer Vlogging Essential Microphone Boom and Pop Arm, $34, delivered to my door. Not gonna complain until it breaks and just completely falls apart. But yeah, if you wanna see more of these unboxing videos, you wanna see me unbox my new case, it's right there, it's ready to go. It's ready to go and then I gotta strip down my system so i could definitely do a video on a strip and rebuild if you're interested in that let me know in the comments and you know as always until next time